Hello everyone, this is Captain MKG here, just checking in with everybody. Uh, today is the 24th of September, approximately 747 Mountain Time. We, or not we, but I should more accurately say I'm about 47 days away from my the end of my lease, which is November 10th. And I just thought I'd bring everybody up to speed really quickly here. Um, I've been uh, not driving for about the past two weeks due to a bit of a cold and just kind of making sure to recover completely, which I do sound and feel quite a bit better. So uh, the other thing is I'm also waiting on Uber to send over their decal so I can put it back in my car so I can avoid getting tickets and being harassed from the PD that's around here. So I'm working on getting all that taken care of. Now, uh, I'm not going to try to do any of the um, usual banter. I'm just going to get right to the points. So we'll try and keep this video as brief as I possibly can. So this is the last week of September, which means this is the last week that I'm seriously going to be applying to as many jobs as I possibly can. And I also have two interviews scheduled this week for both uh, Monday and Tuesday. So hopefully one of those turns out well. And hopefully I can have a new permanent full-time position somewhere in the Colorado, or not Colorado, but in the Denver metro area so I can actually stay put in Colorado for the foreseeable future. However, short of that, um, there is the backup plans of, as I've mentioned many times before, uh, relocating down to Las Vegas. Hence the update here of only 47 days less. It's actually going to be fewer than that because I'm probably going to leave and begin the drive uh, middle of my last week here just to make sure to avoid weekend traffic and get down in a timely manner. Uh, now that being said, I'm currently working on removing and cleaning out as much of the excess in my apartment as I can, i.e. clothes, uh, furniture, dishware, um, stuff that I've had in my closet for years, basically things that I haven't touched in almost the entire time I've been here. Uh, they're getting the heave-ho. Uh, whether or not that's the Goodwill or the dumpster, it depends primarily on the Goodwill people. That being said, I also have my uh, girlfriend departing for Portugal here um, in the middle of October. So that's going to be in about three weeks. And it's, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a rough time. Um, she and I haven't really spent a whole lot of time together since probably June. So it's been, it's been a stressful couple months. And it's also going to be additionally stressful just because, you know, I only see her maybe a handful more times before she leaves and then um, you know, I'll drive her and the family to the airport and then, you know, that, that'll be it, unfortunately for me. But fortunate for her. Uh, she's moving on to the new chapter of her life. And once she's leaving, then I have to spend the next couple weeks getting myself sorted, getting myself either ready to hunker down for the next year here, or um, getting myself trimmed up and slimmed out so that way I can load up my car and drive down to Vegas. So uh, it has the also the additional you know, side effect of also putting me in a bit of a funk, slightly depressed as well, and also opening up some old emotional wounds uh, from the last serious breakup I had. And yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Um, I'm enjoying my, my coffee for now. Uh, Cause it's been a couple, it's been several days since I've actually had a chance to really enjoy a good cup of coffee. So uh, I'm enjoying that for now. I'm gonna cook myself something up to eat here. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the evening uh, throwing some stuff out and uh, cleaning myself up. Uh, Cause as you can see here, there's quite a bit of beard here, which, you know, it's been nice to have, but I've got to shower and shave a little bit, trim everything up, make sure I look, you know, interview ready, and try and ace one of these two interviews in the next two days here. Uh, and then after that, and after this week, um, pretty much, I mean, if not, if there's no job by by the time you know my girlfriend leaves, then that's it. I mean, you know, there's, you know, there's really no um, solid ground for me to stand on here in Colorado if that that doesn't happen. So, um, you know, if nothing happens in October or by the middle of October, it's going to be, you know, just, just trimming everything down to the bare minimum, writing out the rest of the month, and then that first few days of November, and then that, that first full week of November, I am packing everything up, throwing everything away that I don't need, can't take with me, don't want anymore, 
whatever the case may be, and uh, beginning the drive down to Vegas. So um, I'll probably do another check in here, you know, probably that probably around that time. Keep everybody posted about where we're at or where I'm at and what I'm doing. And then either, like I said, either I'll be staying here for the next year or I'll be relocating to Vegas in October 15th, thereabouts. That'll be the, the you know, I guess the final, you know, the final check-in before I start, you know, heave hoeing and uh, start checking in from the road. So that's it. Um, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this brief video. I know it's a bit longer than what I anticipated, but I do appreciate your time. I hope everybody's doing well. And if you're also in the market for a job, I, I wish you the best and hope that you find a job as well. Um, Cause after, you know, pretty much after October is over, you know, most companies, unless they're like seasonal work positions, they're going to be, they're not going to be hiring in November and December, maybe next year. But for the most part, you know, after October is done, there's not going to be that much hiring left. So anyways, that's going to do it for me for now. I'm going to get back to the rest of my evening here and I will try and catch up with you in your various live chats. I'll be in the underground with LDG and crew. And, um, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, we're hoping for the, I'm hoping for the best, but I'm planning for the worst. And while it's not the end of the world to move back to Vegas and live with my mom, and it's not the end of the world driving for the month of October, it is just the unfortunate reality of the way things are right now. And, you know, if I can, you know, depart any shining bits of wisdom is to, you know, whether you're religious or not, count your blessings. Be thankful that you have the friends and family that you have. Um, be thankful that you can have a roof over your head and food on the table. And um, yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. So I will catch you all, you know, sometime in October. And until then, take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves. And um, I'll try and stop in and check in with you on your various live streams. So Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Captain MKG, signing off.